Hi everyone, welcome to Cheltenham Chart, episode 11. And in the main, on the Irish action to talk about today, one really, really good performance, I thought, and a couple of others to talk about from Saturday as well. But it'll be a brief video this week, um, not a whole lot to talk about. One thing that I have to mention is that another of my own personal bets is looking in big trouble now with Epitant not being declared for the mayor's hurdle. That was really disappointing. And with the cost of the supplementary fee being £4,599, although Nicky's Yard have said they're going to pay it because it was an error, it does worry me. She's drifted out and I, and I can foresee that she's not going to be supplemented for the race. Who knows now? It's really disappointing. It really does show the difficulties in anti-post betting. I, I backed Epitant at 14 to 1 after she won the entry hurdle and I've been backing her since. And to lose without getting a run will be quite gutting. I feel her form is reasonably good with uh, Zana here. And I don't see a whole lot of difference between a horse like Zana here and something like Queensbrook who a lot of the other horses have their form tied in with like she wears it well on Marie's Rock. So it'll be deeply disappointing if Epitant doesn't go, but it really does look that way. And when they say it was an error with Marie's Rock in the yard, part of my cynical mind wonders if it really was an error. But that's the way it goes. That's Auntie Post panting. And uh, to go alongside, tell me something, Daryl in the Mayor's Chase, who has the engine and can't jump. It's been... A poor run for my own personal bets. Thankfully, out of the video bets, we haven't had a bet yet. And I'm continually looking to try and find one. In the week's racing, two races to talk about on Saturday for me and two races to talk about on Sunday. Blood Destiny into 5-1, to one, second favourite for the Triumph. After winning nicely, both these races I'm going to talk about on Saturday were Willie Mullins' horses given a bit of a freebie and hard to evaluate, really hard to evaluate the form. Blood Destiny beat a reasonable field, but he was given a very easy lead. He did win nicely. And you have to wonder whether he can give five, uh, seven pounds to Lossy Mouth and a beating. But she's six to four, he's five to one, and he's done this nicely. He may run at the Dublin Racing Festival against her. I wouldn't think they would run until the festival against each other. But he's definitely a rightful second favourite. The other horse that was given a freebie was Flame Bearer, and it was really difficult to evaluate this performance because he really was given a very easy lead. Highland Charge made a lot of mistakes and blundered his chance away, and Flame Bearer's won pulling an absolute cart, blundered at the last. Not really much worse than the blunders that El Fabiolo was making, but a lot of people saying they don't see, foresee this horse going to Cheltenham now. It is, with so many two-mile chasers in the yard, it's going to be which horse is going to be put in which race by Willie Mullins, and maybe Flame Bearer may be the one not to go to Cheltenham at all. On Sunday in Pere Pass, was given a far tougher race, I thought. It was a good race with uh, the Model Kingdom coming out second. And she's run a good race. And Perry Pass, it's hard to know if they'll take on Fasel Vega now or go to the Ballymore. And you can't be bucking a horse who may go for either race, especially when in one race you're against a four to five favourite. The race of the week for me and the most telling race of the week I thought was impervious win over Journey With Me. I think impervious to me looks probably the horse I would make favourite now for the Mayor's Chase because this was a tough race. Journey With Me has finally got his jumping together. I thought he jumped really well. Um, impervious was wrong at the weights because of a grade two win and still won this race. I think, I think she's produced a really good performance here. I think she'd be, for me, the favourite in the Mayor's Chase. And she wouldn't be out of place in the Turners on this display. I thought this was really, really good. I wouldn't put the Turners off the agenda for Impervious getting £7. 
And I have to say that uh, after the race, I felt Journey With Me would be a perfect choice for the Brown Advisory. It just depends what Rob Coore are going to do. They have Gentleman's Game, they have Jerry Colomb, who's very ground dependent. But for me, Journey With Me's uh, display here had Brown Advisory written all over it. He's jumped really well, which he didn't do on his first two performances. I thought this was a good, good run from Journey With Me. He was the horse who I was most impressed with in the race because I don't think two mile four is really his distance. I thought he'd be going up to the three mile. But as the interviews with the people at Rob Coeur have shown uh, on the We're Going Chasing podcast, they think that Journey With Me was going to be the two mile four horse. To me, it didn't, to my eye, it doesn't look like that. I certainly feel like Journey With Me is a horse for the three mile brown advisory and I would be very tempted to back him in that race. He's 20 to 1 at the moment, but with Rob Coeur having the other two horses, very difficult to back him, but I was really taken with his performance. He's jumped a lot better, and over three miles, his jumping would have a bit more chance. I do wonder, the info I had at the start of the season was a journey with me and Tell Me Something Girl were both schooling really well. Uh, and had worked together a few times in school uh, and jumped really well. And um, tell me something, girl can't seem to do it on the track. Maybe she, if given another chance, she can do what Journey with me done here in their third chasing display and uh, jump better. But Journey with me was really, really good in this race. I was very impressed with his performance, and I think that both horses going forward will go to Cheltenham with a good chance. Impervious in either the Mare's Chase or the Turners. And I think if we saw Journey With Me in the Brown Advisory, I'd be really keen to back him. It is going to be a short video today. Just to say a couple of things coming up. I am going to go on the Under Starters Orders charity show uh, and put up, I think it's five bets out of a £100 bank. I'm going to do that fairly soon, I think, with Chris. And I have accepted an invite from Cheltenham Exchange to uh, preview the Wednesday of Cheltenham with them, and that will be done the Friday before Cheltenham. So looking forward to both of those. But I don't think we got a whole lot of clues this week. It was a quiet week on the racing front, mainly clues in Ireland. And I think when you look at the distribution of winners, um, especially in the graded races, it is mainly Irish winners and that's where I tend to look, even though I'm this side of the sea, I tend to look at the Irish racing more for clues. I was particularly taken with that race today, the grade three won by Impervious with Journey With Me running a really good race in second. I think both of those horses going forward are the horses I would take from this week. Blood Destiny, of course, was good, and Perry Pass was good. And Flame Bearer's got his season back on track, and back for that error at the last, a lot of people would be talking about him. But it isn't going to be a long video this week because there wasn't a lot to watch. Um, anyone wanting to see my selections can go to champ.ie. I put a lot of my selections up there for the first nine weeks of their competition. Um, like I say, my personal bets wouldn't be doing the best at the moment and uh, if we ever get to a video bet I'll be putting that up on a separate video and hopefully they'll be slightly better than the bets I've put up in my personal bets so far but the thing is we've made a profit on the video bets for five years uh, and I am quite intent on making it six I'm fairly thankful I haven't put horses like Epitant on Tell Me Something Garl up as a video bet. Anyway, there'll be plenty more reviews and we'll see what everyone else thinks of these races. But like I say, that grade three chase, novice chase today was the race I took forward. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I'll be back to you next week. Bye for now.